Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I want to go through a little bit of maintenance uh, overview for the EE8 field phone and uh, show you a quick operation with the, another field phone I have. Um, this uh, field phone transmits over a wired connection. It's not a radio. And it's been in use since the 30s, 1930s, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam, it is, and is noted to be a very reliable device for secure communication. <clears throat> and um, first of all, uh, the handset is a TS9 handset, readable here. It has a switch on. It's battery operated, uses two D cell batteries, which I'll show you inside the compartment. And it also has a generator for ringing the other end of the line. This generator, when you crank it, hand crank, generates 90 volts of electricity. <clears throat> One note, uh, don't have your hand over the electrodes and connections on this thing while you're cranking. Otherwise, you will uh, give yourself a nice little zap. <clears throat> um, first thing we'll do here is we'll uh, take the cover off which is held on by a couple screws on each side, a screw right here by the hand crank, <clears throat> and, uh, and then the phone unit slides out of the case. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so I've removed the screws, and now you just lift the phone unit out of the case. We'll set that aside for later. The phone unit, you can see now the battery compartment is two standard D batteries <clears throat> and uh, it's got some sheet metal or steel riveted and screwed on in places. The first thing that I want to do, uh, I've noticed that this hand crank is, is pretty stiff and uh, it should be easier to generate. So with five screws you can remove this plate and get access to the generator section. Okay so here's the generator. You can see how this handle comes out. It allows for cranking. The crank here turns system of gears that are on bearings and uh, this is where the high voltage is generated for ringing the other phone on the other end of the line which can be miles away. This is the bell and the high voltage uh, received from, uh, from another phone will actuate the electric electromagnets and ring the bell so that you know that you have an incoming call. Well to get this to get this crank running more smoothly we can oil a few places. A uh, little bit of oil here and here on all side all bearings where this shaft is going through the bracket. A little bit of grease on these gears and a drop of oil down here. So Oiling a few places will uh, hopefully get this thing running nicely again. So I'll just, using gravity, I'll carefully get a couple of drops of oil. Okay. Oh yeah, that is much easier. Yeah. <clears throat> Even my kids will be able to ring that. Now I'll just put the cover back on and we'll go through the handset. Okay, cover's back on. Now, if you have a fresh set of batteries in both your field phones and the wires connecting the two phones are in good shape, you're still not getting signal, 
Uh, oftentimes I've had to clean the contacts on the handset. Um, and uh, here's how I know this is a World War II vintage. Right in there, 1945. <clears throat> but uh, cleaning the contacts on both the, the uh, microphone element, I'm using some very fine grit sandpaper, try to get a shiny clean surface. And also on the contacts, contacts themselves. They can easily get corroded after years of not being used. But you will be surprised to do some of these basic things and uh, have good wiring. You can bring these back to life. Do it on the same, same on the earpiece connections until I get a very shiny surface. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. Now reassemble it. These phones are made of bake-like. The handset is bake-like plastic. And sometimes these threads don't like to really grab. So just be gentle. <clears throat> okay. So go ahead and put a couple of batteries in. And uh, yeah, I can I can hear myself in the in the handset. Um, that's pretty cool. When I when I actuate the transmit switch, you have to hold this down to be transmitting. I can hear static, and then when I talk, I can hear myself in the in the microphone or in the speaker. So that's a that's a good setup. I'll put it back together in the case and then I will uh, connect the telephone wire to the other phone and we'll do a, a trial. Okay, now I just went to the hardware store and got any telephone wire. This is a hundred feet of te telephone wire and uh, standard construction to these days uh, uses a lot more than three wires so I hooked the other phone up, which is in my house, using blue, green, and orange connections on the left, middle, and right posts. So I will follow the same pattern here. Blue, nice and tight. Green next. Okay. Now let me ring the house. Again, when you when you do the generator, you don't want your hand over the over the post or you will electrocute yourself. So Hey, uh, whose turn is it? Are, are we doing okay on risk? Yeah, being attacked by Australia. Copy that. Well, you're getting attacked in Australia. Over and out. Well, there you go. Old Army field phone still bringing people together after 75 years.
What a workhorse. Hope you like what you saw today. Let us know. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep bringing you more. Thanks a lot.